on March 7, an uncommon and significant meteorite crashed down on Earth and splashed into the Pacific Ocean, some 25 kilometers, or about 15.5 miles, off the coast of Washington. Point out. The dazzling meteorite, also acknowledged as a bolide, was seen falling someplace in the Olympic, coastline nationwide marine sanctuary, of the Nationwide Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, not far too far absent from the coastline of Grays Harbor County. In accordance to Dr. Mark Fries, who is Cosmic Dust Curator at NASA, the meteorite, was about the dimensions of a golfing cart and broke into numerous fragments, approximated to collectively weigh all over two tons. This is quickly the most important recorded meteor slide in the United States in 21 decades, Fry's reported in a assertion. With some of these fragments probably becoming as huge as a brick, Fry's is keen to retrieve as numerous as achievable, in order to include them to the exploration selection at the Smithsonian Establishment in Washington, D.C reviews digital trends. Just after analyzing radar info recorded by the NOAA, NEXRAD procedure, as properly as by seismometers installed equally, on land and on the bottom of the ocean, Fries has managed to slender down the impact area to about one particular square kilometer, or just about 0.4 square miles. His investigations also concluded, that the greatest meteorite fragments expected to be discovered on the seafloor weigh about 4.4 kilograms, or 9.7 pounds, and are around 12 centimeters, or 4.7 inches, large. Finding at least some of these meteorite fragments would be a tremendous acquire, as no other meteorites have ever been retrieved from the ocean right before. The program is to work force up with the ocean exploration belief, oh it, and go hunting for meteorites with the Nautilus Exploration Vessel, the flagship of the OIT, which has teamed up with NASA before on other investigation missions, which includes the not long ago introduced Subsea, the Inquisitor formerly noted. To that impact, Fry's traveled out to sea on Friday to meet with the Nautilus crew, which, as luck would have it, is by now conducting research in the vicinity of the focused location. This exploratory mission is to be led by Dr. Nicole Reynald, Vice President of Exploration and Science, functions for the OIT, and will be utilizing deep sea robots named Remote Operated Cars, ROFs, to scan the ocean flooring in search for magnetic objects. Since 90% of meteorites have a substantial material of iron, the ROFs stand a rather good opportunity of detecting the scattered meteorite fragments on the bottom of the Pacific.